All right, well, get ready for this. Many people across the world were treated to a dazzling show last night, way up high in our skies. We caught up with some of the folks who were lucky enough to catch this event so that we could hear all about it. It's a sight to behold, and it's on many bucket lists around the world, seeing the northern lights. But seldom does that ever get checked off. The northern lights, of course, are much more common up north in Canada and those surrounding regions, but can be occasionally spotted in Wyoming as well. Photographer David Kerr was lucky enough to snag the northern lights just 20 miles north of Casper on Thursday night. He says his dad uses an app to track the northern lights and realized that Thursday was the perfect opportunity. My dad... Uh, is been, has been obsessing about seeing the Northern Lights for pretty much his whole life. And so he has an app on his phone that just tracks and gets notifications whenever there's going to be a high chance of seeing them. And so last night around 9 p.m., he texts me up and he goes, hey, there's a good chance they're going to be out tonight. Uh, let's go and, and just see. This event could be seen with just the naked eye. However, photographing these brilliant astral displays isn't quite as easy. The, the cool thing with the photography is that I'm able to set my camera to take a long exposure shot, which essentially allows more light, more details, more colors to uh, enter into the camera. And so that's how I was able to create those images. The photos that I took were just about 15 seconds long. So it's 15 seconds compressed into a single image, which uh, is pretty cool. The display could also be seen as far south as Cheyenne, as captured here by Mike Morris on the outskirts of town. Now, this is called a Strong Thermal Emission Velocity Enhancement, or you can just call it Steve for short. According to the Canadian Space Agency, this phenomenon is caused when billions of charged electrons and protons collide with the gases in our upper atmosphere, creating brilliant flashes of light that fill the sky. Morris says he felt really lucky to be able to catch such a spectacular moment. It was a really rare phenomenon. I felt really lucky to have that opportunity just to catch the moment, you know, because uh, yeah, it's not something I take for granted. I think a lot of people travel to Alaska. They'll travel to, you know, Iceland, places like that. And, and so when you get to catch it in your backyard, it's pretty cool, you know. <laughs> Man, how cool is that? I'm, I'm so jealous. I've always wanted to see the Northern Lights. If you, like me, are interested in chasing the Northern Lights yourself, there's our apps that he mentioned earlier that can track the Northern Lights. You can also find David's social media profiles over on our website, wyomingnewsnow.tv.